Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel Anna at Bella and today I'm going to be reviewing Doctor Who The Revolution of the Daleks trailer which is the episode is going to be shown on New Year's Day which is really good and exciting. My mum is a bit depressed at the moment because all the decent shows are ending ready for the Christmas stuff and she's like I hope they put on something good because Doctor Who is only coming in New Year's Day so hopefully it should be good. Um, I'm really excited about this episode for two reasons one the black daleks and the red the black and the red also blue very good and the fact that they're now face hugging and jumping ah traditional dalekness so they're like alien aliens which is kind of cool annoyingly the doctor is in prison like her wife river song has been so that is a bit annoying yes that's my christmas tree in the background Ooh, uh, merry christmas happy new year to you um and I fully get that. And yes, we've got flashbacks to Peter Capaldi doing the lines in his room when we had his episode. But he wasn't in jail. So I kind of get that. And it's really great that we see Captain Jack. I really like that. It looks like it's going to be a swan song for Graham and Ryan because their story is done. I'm really excited for Yaz and the Doctor to be able to go off on adventures. And I would have liked this episode to have done that. But it's got the Daleks in. I'm kind of fed up of the fact that the Doctor requires so many men to rescue slash sort out problems. Because, I mean, it's Jack, Ryan, Graham and Yaz holding the fort while the Doctor's in jail for unknown reasons. And I fully get that. But I think it's time we took off the supporting male characters, stabilisers and actually allowed um, the Jodie Whittaker 13th Doctor, who happens to be a blonde woman, to a blonde white woman, to stand on her own two feet. I appreciate with the introduction of the history episodes, you might have needed um, the male supporting characters to defer to the Doctor to make other white males of those time periods do so. Um, I fully get that because otherwise the Doctor would have ended up in a mental asylum. Come on, let's face it. It doesn't matter which historical era she would have gone to. If it was in the 1940s, she'd still have ended up there. Um, I think going forward, we need to move away from that and actually allow the Doctor to be the authority just by being. I know that's a fairly modern concept, but it is 2020. And I think if they go down the futuristic route, I think that there's far more scope to do that. The historical episodes have been great and I've loved. That's one of the strengths of Chris's overall oversee. I really do hope that this season, that the, next, the season coming does sort out or helps lay the foundations of the Timeless Child storyline, tying that more into who law, because I think it's good Um it just needs to be sort of a little bit more bolted down, I think, but not too, because we've got to have some wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. The trailer is good. It's a bit disappointing that we have the Doctor in jail and everybody else is doing stuff, but if you're going to allow your companions to grow and develop, I think that's a really good idea. And I do like to see Captain Jack, even when he's bringing messages of doom and being a support guy, and it's the Daleks. So Captain Jack died, um first fighting the Daleks with Rose and Bad Wolf way back in New Who. So it's only right that we have um, that now because it bring, it ties 9 and 10 and 11 um, and 12 more firmly to 13. I think that that's what Chris is trying to do now to tie up that continuity because I think it needs doing. Um, overall, the trailer was good, set up some good things, though I did have a bit of flashbacks back to Harriet, you know, the MP of Flydale North, you know, her again, um, with the new MP dressed in yellow, um, being Prime Minister, I, f I had flashbacks to that. So I think overall, I think it's going to do something really good, give us a nice boost, and then off into the series we go with just Yaz and the 13th Doctor, because spoilers, oh, I don't think it's spoilers. Come on, we know that Graham and Ryan are done. It's a shame about Ryan, and I feel that Ryan has been, his character has developed, but I felt that they sort of introduced this character, uh, but haven't really allowed his story to be told, because it's always Graham's story, I think, that has dominated that. And we're never going to get the Yaz-Ryan romance, so I think they quietly sort of wrote, wrote that off in the writers' heads. Anyway, I enjoyed the trailer. I think there's some good things going forward. I think that this episode is going to be a good springboard into the next season of Doctor Who. 
out of five, I think I'm going to give it a four. Yes, there are some worrying sort of female balance, gender balancing issues, but I think we're always going to sort of, you can nitpick too much about that. I think that we've got to be positive of the fact that we've got the first female doctor going forward. And yes, she has required the stabiliser support of male supporting characters. There's no way around it. That's the Christmas tree, by the way, uh, uh, which I've already mentioned. Please like, comment and subscribe. And thank you for the support. Bye. Enjoy Christmas, stay safe and follow government guidance depending on your country of origin. Bye-bye.